Hello and welcome. Welcome to Super Fantasy Kingdom. This is a new demo released as part of the Steam Next Festival. And in this one, you help a king restore his kingdom. You are a mighty guardian. Here you are. Might not be easy to see. There's, a, there's quite a few pixels missing, but it is a cozy art style. It is a cozy city, sort of slash manager building. We have three guardians in the demo. I've only unlocked one. Her name's Celine, and I've done one run before. Uh, I've I lasted six days. I've unlocked a few shards, and I only gained some greed. So I'm not any more powerful than I was before. So let's jump straight into it. This is impossible. It looks like we have a slightly different text. Right. Anyway, we have a few. Right, we, first we need to build a tavern, of course, um, where the heroes rest. And how many workers have we got? We have two workers. And we've also restored a bit of our kingdom. In terms of paths, we have more paths available. We've done stuff, we've unlocked some more um, bonus thingies, whatever. And now, for the first thing, we need to get a lumberyard and a quarry. And thankfully, now that I have two workers, should be doing pretty well in terms of resources. Now we can um, hire more heroes, of course. We need stone and all. And as you survive more and more days, you will unlock. I'm going to speed this up for a bit. Um, it's not available yet for the first day, but for subsequent days, you will be able to unlock more. Well, you'll get glory. It's the glorious purpose of a hero, of course. And you could use that to unlock more paths, uh, unlock more. In the kingdom bit, you can build more, more areas to build buildings on. Surprise, surprise. And down here, just more places, more things to reach. There's some um, oh, workers. Uh, more. And that is the day one done. Workers retreat to a tavern. We've gained a point of glory. We've killed 11 skeletons. And of course, our guardian has done everything. And let's proceed to day two. We have a bonus. This be? An old man comes again. Large What's happening here? The Hermit awoke just like the king. Yep, and as the kingdom falls again and again, it gets rebuilt yes. to start all over. Maybe this time fate is on your side. Um, probably not. Probably not the second run. And here we have a hero. We have a death priest, we have a skeleton and a djinn. Now it looks like we have two ranged targets and one melee. Now I do prefer ranged dudes. You can also move them here. Unlock spots for gold. Let's get to house. And let's start gathering berries. Berries give XP to heroes. Not not the guardian, not the guardian herself. She can make do just fine. Heroes, however, are quite hungry. Now, I personally prefer ranged. You don't get into melee range, you don't get hit and all. Because they can get hit. Um, they can die. Temporarily. They can be um, brought back at the tavern, you just have to feed them, of course. And. Alternatively, via a. Right, where is it? Graveyard. It also gives a little bit of bonus XP for recruiting new ones. Our current task is to either build a gold mine or to repair the church. It costs three planks. Or, right, where's the gold? Gold mine add on is five um, ore, five ingots. Hmm. Right, we are full on stone. So let's repair the castle so let's double our storage. I mean, better to just keep some more stuff. Sawmill, right there it is. It needs five wood. And we're nearly there already. We have a mule that collects stuff. This is quite slowly, but 
does it surely enough, right? How's the kingdom do going? Our guardians and the one hero is having a nice tussle. Ah, uh, let's get the right, nope sawmill. We need a sword, dude. Right. Everyone's got some jobs to do, so I'm going to need to build another house. You know, get more workers. And here we have oh, the reclaim feature. Does pause the game, of course. But here we you can see one stone or some resources and plenty of glory can quite expand our kingdom or find some new paths. Maybe not this one, not quite yet. That one later. But yeah, we've got stone and let's do this. We have a big building spot. Here we can put a, for example, a gold ore. A gold mine rather. And we've got some berries, so heroes can be fed. Now there's various types of food. The berries are the cheapest ones and obviously the most easiest to get. And they also give... And I'm not entirely sure which one is the berry. Um, these are meats, of course. That is fish, that's bread. I guess that's berry. The weakest one worth a single point of experience, of course. Heroes come in. Heroes sleep. And... Their stomachs are full. The, wind, the sawmill also needs wood. Needs wood, yeah. That can be processed into boards. Let's speed the game up again. And right, that's a melee dude. And that is four of those. Oh, and there's this dude. I'm not sure what this is. Something scary. Ooh. So with one more orb. Whatever that is. Oh. Unlock more outposts at the cartographer. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, we can just gain, gain resources. Cool. Oh, what's this? There's a little merchant here. Oh yeah, we, we can also repair his wagon for three boards. Restore the land. Unlock more workers. I'm not sure what this is yet. And we can't reach that. Right, what's this? More wood again. Right, and we have another worker, so we can start getting b bored. And now it's night, night time. But nothing to worry about, we have vanquished all the evils. And we can proceed to day four, we got more glory. And we've got some tax. The king personally collects every tax so we can keep upgrading our place. More wheat. I don't think we need that just yet. Right. What can we do here? What should we do here? Perhaps a graveyard. Where you'll fall into rest and a recruitment XP bonus. So what can we unlock? That is stone and that is planks. Fires a bolt to random target. Sweet. Let's put them here. Excellent. Did not get. A oh, wait. He is level. They are level two. Okay. Good. Okay, that sort of solved things. Good to know. That's what levels up. As they level up, they obviously get more powerful. Perhaps not a surprise to anyone who's played games these days, uh, or the last 30 years. But you know, you're better, better safe than sorry. And well, we can repair the church. Upgrade the lumber yard to unlock the forester, a special job that will plant new trees in surrounding wild spaces. To upgrade building, click upgraded. Sweet. This is the last step of the tutorial, so you can wait until you need more wood. Haven't I done that? Oh, I guess it's one of those that doesn't, um... One of the upgrades that doesn't carry over. Right. And we need ore. Right. Bam. 
bam, bam, bam. Skeleton has leveled up as well. On day five, I think we should see if we can. Aha! Oh, we don't have stone. Never mind, so let's fast forward it a bit. Oh, it looks like. Oh, yeah, we've got one stone, and it looks like the boars are coming along really fast. Um, right, what uh, what did I need for boars? All oh, right, the uh, gold mine. Let's reclaim this part. And now. We cannot, we need more stone, right. So let's pull up one deer. Right. Oh, we can repair the merchant's wagon. Pretty please? Pretty please? Alright we'll then. Again. Hope so. Oh, provoking only possible during the day. And it is evening, I don't know what that is. However, I cannot do anything with this dude. Oh well. Looks like it'll be one more day before we can get stone, get the gold mine going. I think I should upgrade the lumber yard as well, though. Right, our heroes are well fed. Excellent. One more card. <laughs> Can we offer you something I else? Can't do that. Nope. More gold, more speed. Aha, we still cannot get gold. We still cannot use ingots, get ingots rather. So, goodbye. Treaty of O, buddy. Right, while well, I'm at it, um, it looks like I can't. Oh! There it is, but it more stone. Of course, it's more roads and wheat. So never mind. We do need some decent wheat for the time being, at least. Recruitment XP bonus. So hmm. I did fall on day six last time, I believe. So I think I do want to get this dude. We do need, do need one more stone though. Here it is. So let's get this dude and plop him in front of the guardian. The swordsman will do plenty. All right, what can we do for upgrades? Oh, what was that? Oh, 50 faith to upgrade hero. Sweet upgrade. Attacks once more. Attacks pierce once. Aha, cool. Let's get more attacks. Mainly by blindness for uh, interfaces. Oh, why is one idle? One. Oh, we got four uh, meals. Okay, sweet. So, what can we do here? Let's get more wood. Oh, well, well, well. Maybe what was day seven? Oh, yeah. The heroes, the heroes are about to fall. Actually, I think they all survived. Excellent. Bam, bam, bam. Now this is the big one. Day seven. Let's get a gold mine going, though. Bam. Right, upgrade hero for eight stone. Increase double storage. Need ore and stone. Don't need more saw, I think. Oh yeah, we did also need to upgrade the lumber yard. But here we have what I initially thought was the frog king. I mean the green. Green and bounty. But it turns out it's the goblin king. Now it looks like it's easy pickings, but once the little bastards come more, more greater numbers, it can get a bit quite annoying to deal with. However, I have Paid attention and I can actually upgrade others so I shall do that now and I think that is the key to not looking like a Muppet I just need one more piece of stone and it, it will take a while and I believe they also get enraged at night 
Ah. Right, where's the mule? Yeah, monsters are in range and the warrior has fallen. However, I... Oh, just made it. Sweet. Goblin King is no more and we get treasure. Oh, oh, the hero died and oh, the guardian died at the same time. Ah, uh, damn it. But I did do better than last time. That said, I did have some bonuses. But let's not dwell on that kind of thing too much. Day 7, 14 glory. We are getting better. And that's what's important. Let's check the unlocks. What kind of things we can do? Oh, of course, not these kind of unlocks, but rather better progression. I think more, more damage maybe? Ah, and, and it looks like once you take one, everything gets more expensive by two, apparently. Decreases cooldown, we have more things to do, more defense, I think. Hmm. Movement or projectile speed. I think attack speed, or maybe range, or maybe damage. Health? Oh, we can get a little bit of everything, well, for the most part. Sweet. Hopefully next time I should be able to get even further. But yeah, that was Super Fantasy Kingdom. Hope you enjoyed it. I, I certainly did. I'm actually looking forward to the full release, even though there's plenty for me to do in the demo. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, and have um, made it this far. Do feel free, please, to leave a like, leave a comment, perhaps, or maybe even subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again. And goodbye.